Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm very echoey. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom and it's been a while since we've been in the bathroom and I wanted to, you know, have something a bit different today. I was gonna do a makeup look because I'm going out tomorrow night and wasn't having enough time to film then, but I was like, oh, I don't wanna have to put on makeup, take it off and then put it on again tomorrow. So I was like, what can I do? It's different that I haven't done before, but it's been on my list to do for a while and it's definitely, a hair care routine and how I typically style my hair which if you've been watching my videos for a little while now I typically have it pretty normal at the top going down into some curls so I thought I'd do that for you and provide a bit of an update on how I maintain my mane because it is a monster sometimes it's thick it's long I'm redheaded um, I've got some old curls in that I had the other day and we need a wash. It's Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. We're going to have a big week this week. So I'm like, I want to start off afresh and totally renew myself and take you along with me. So if you haven't been on my channel before, welcome. Uh, I am Lauren Renee and I love doing like fashion and lifestyle and travel videos. So definitely jump on. So to get started, I wanted to take you through all my steps from even what I eat to right down to how I cut my hair. So first off, eating definitely eat a lot of omega-3 a lot of fish and stuff and all those like good healthy things that you need for your hair but i wanted to mention because in a video before like a few videos earlier actually probably like two three months ago i started on the hair chews by hair burst and there was i don't have the packets anymore i literally had an empty one just before but i think someone picked it up and threw it out just before i filmed this video so <laughs> i can't show you the empty packet right now but I've been eating those hair burst chews, which are like little like pink chews that have like vitamin A and all things like to really promote good hair health and hair growth. My update in terms of that, I think having taking vitamins and eating well, it definitely, you know, eat, eating well and all those like good healthy things makes the outside of you good. Like, you know, from, shining from the inside out, that's the thing. Um, so that is a number one hair health tip is go for your vitamins, minerals, everything. The hair burst, I liked them. I found them chew, but I typically have pretty healthy hair that grows really fast. The thing is it promotes growth. I didn't see a huge change, but definitely want to continue taking them and, or even take or like research into what is potentially better, potentially different, you know, healthy things. I reckon something for my scalp would be my number one priority. So that is the first place I'd start. I usually take those in the morning. So currently it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. So we're not worrying about that. But first off, before I jump in the shower, cause that's what I'm gonna take you through. I'm not gonna take you in the shower, but I'm just gonna take you through what I do. I brush my hair. My hair obviously, as I've just said, is really thick and long and so she needs to be brushed otherwise in the shower I'll just be like it's not fun so oh, I've just got this glow earth hairbrush which I fell in love with like it's like nice thick and sturdy really sturdy I'm not good with hairbrushes that are really flimsy they end up just like going slightly on the outside no matter how much I try and like not actually getting to my nose so oh, I can I already feel how good it feels and look at the difference just between like how fluffy that is and how like matted this is I stayed over last night at my friend Bernie because it's her birthday tomorrow so big shout out to Bernie at Evil Man and slept over and had like we had a games night with all our friends so my hair is in definite need of some care today so nice brush just really gentle i don't love to like rip through my hair obviously you've got knots you got to get through you got to get through but ripping through your hair is going to create more breakage so just be really gentle with it ah oh, lovely and it's <laughs> lucky for you guys that i curled it because it's cool like creating this nice old curl look so brush my hair she's all set to go what i do next I'm just going to check my phone. I just write all my notes on my phone is my washing my hair. I'm obviously not going to take you in. So I'm going to show you what I use and what I use to wash my hair is actually a few different products. So I, one, Olaplex. If you can see, this is the Olaplex conditioner. I don't have the shampoo because I just ran out. That is the story of <laughs> my life on this page is, yes, I ran out of this product, but <laughs> so 
um, Olaplex shampoo. I fell in love with its bond maintenance, like things, things. I really shouldn't, I should read and actually like come more prepared to tell you with things of why I choose these items. But I just wanted something and I knew, know this is a really well-known and trusted brand and my hairdresser recommended this to me just to keep the strength and keep the health, especially at the bottom of the hair. If you're using heat products, you're creating that potential for breakage. So Olopex was a big thing for me and I don't have really demanding hair. You know, sometimes I get oily, obviously I get dry because I've spoken about that on this channel before and I get dry flakiness. So I wanted something that is a good in between. On top of that, I use these ones, the Goodwell Rich Repair Shampoos and Conditioners. I used to actually use Tresemme, Tresemme. that's not good for your hair, not great. And t apparently, apparently, obviously do whatever you want, but typically anything that comes off the shelf with a lot of fragrance isn't good for your hair. That's another big reason why I choose my hair products is if they do not have fragrance. Typically I don't put any, like any fragrance in my products. So I've actually got something with fragrance for later. So that's going to be new. It's a new product. So we'll see, but typically, no fragrance is like less chemicals on my hair. So yeah, I use the Goodwill products. They're another like rich, you know, antioxidants going into your hair. As much good things into my hair that I can get into it, I will. So that. The reason I use two different types is so that my hair doesn't, one, get used to one type of product. If I'm constantly using this, the long... <coughs> Millie is just going to bark. <coughs> The little grumpy bum. Uh, typically, if I go back, what was I talking about? Yes, reason why I use different uh, shampoos and conditioners, I will use one shampoo and conditioner, one wash, and then the next wash, I'll use the other one. The reason I do that is, yep, so my hair does not get used to one product over and over again. If I'm using the same product for years, the actual purpose of the uh, shampoo and conditioner, like for my Goodwell products, is rich and repair, restore and conditioner. Same with the shampoo. You know, for dry and damaged hair. That's what I want it to keep doing. So if it keeps using the same product over and over and again for years, my hair's gonna get used to it. It's not actually gonna do what it's meant to be doing. So having that swap and change and having the constant different items going into my hair is really good for it. Another reason I use two different types of shampoos and conditioner alternatively, alternatively, alternately, not alternatively, alternately, um, is the buildup of product. If there is a buildup of product, using something that's got a different makeup, a different chemical makeup, is going to help take away all that. You know, if you know, if one type of shampoo and, shampoo and conditioner is for one type of issue and one's for another, my hair is getting hopefully the best of both. And obviously, if I'm seeing no benefit from a shampoo and conditioner, I'm going to stop. You know, if my hair is starting to go really dull, I'm going to change it up. Now, one other shampoo I use, so I use three types of shampoo, the Olaplex, the Goodwell, and this bad boy. This is one of the only ones I will take off the shelf at the supermarket. Um, it is a anti-dandruff shampoo, and it is like an intense one. This is one, I think it's one level higher than this that like I know doctors have been like recommended. This stuff, like, I'm not sure if you can like see there, it comes out blue, like blue. I'm not gonna get it out right now. But this is amazing for dandruff and I, as I've spoken on this channel before, have suffered quite a lot with dandruff specifically at the front. Um, it's more, it's like more like a, almost a cradle cap in some ways and I get it when I'm really, really stressed or I haven't been taking as much care as my, of my hair as I should. Like if I've been going to the gym and just been like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow as well. I'm just going to tie it back in a bun again, which... I've been naughty to do sometimes, but anyway, <laughs> that's what I use. And that's so great at getting rid of dandruff and, uh, dandruff and shampoo, it's shampoo. So that's really good. And then I also, that I've shown in my channel before, I have a medically prescribed like dandruff drops that I can put in my hair if it gets really bad and I'm not washing my hair. So obviously, Taking all that into consideration, I want to prevent really a, a really dry scalp. I want to have rich, rich and nourished ends and all throughout. I want to have rich and nourished scalp all throughout. I currently do not use a hair mask and that's something that I want to look into. But I find sometimes if I've been using, like if I put conditioner up on my 
top of my scalp, I get quite oily. And so I'm kind of reserved about using a anything that's sort of like deep up here. So, but that's something that I'm definitely willing to try. And I think everyone should definitely explore different products because you never know, like definitely research first. Like there's definitely products out there that I'm like, I will never touch that. Um, but you know, I don't see any harm in t trying different types of things. So in light of that, I'm going to quickly wash my hair and I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Shower is done. I will, a uh, little tip for how you wash your hair. This is something that I learned just by research. Shampoo is mostly, oh, hello, hello dear. Shampoo is mostly at the top. That's where all your natural oils and all those fun things are coming out of, not down the base, because you don't want to dry out the roots. The roots, you want to dry out this area, not dry it out, but remove all the excess bad stuff up here and not remove all the bad, good stuff down here. I'm mixing up words. This is every god. This is every week. My man. My gosh. So yeah. And then conditioning is mostly down the base of the hair. I look. I put a tiny bit up the top. Not too much because I don't want this to be really really dry. And the movements that I use when I'm washing the tops of my hair is in straight lines back and forth because I don't want to be like really knotting up my hair and really like disturbing the base of my scalp. So it's all in back and forth moments. Movements. And then the same back and forth, but I go up and down from the back at the base. So yeah, and now that we're out of the shower, drying my hair, same situation. I don't want to be, normally I'd flip my hair over and dry my hair with a towel first, but I don't want to be having a towel over my head and going to That's what I used to do as a kid, obviously. So instead I'm taking my towel and I'm like patting it dry. I'm just holding and scrunching it. I'm not moving it. I'm not disturbing it. I'm not potentially creating more damage, especially as you just come out of the shower, your hair has almost opened up in the same way, similar way that your skin pores open up, they're refreshed. So that's why you really want to take care of your hair while it's wet. So I'm just doing this. And when my hair is normally flipped over, I'm taking my towel and I'm grabbing my hair and scrunching upwards like that like with my that hand movement so I mean I'm just holding it like that so now that most of like the drippiness the drippiness of my hair is gone I will wrap it up in a microfiber towel which is gone one minute I know I can use this one so if you see one of these in Australia, they're called Turby Twists. And they got, they're like a microfiber in like a triangle kind of shape. And they got either like a button or a little like loop on the end. So I'm gonna, how am I gonna do, I'm not gonna be able to do this in film, in the video. So I'm just gonna do it now. Right, so I'm just twisting her up. My hair used to be even longer than this. So it used to like come out like all the way down here and I'd have to fold my hair back into the Toby twist so it would all fit in. And then I wouldn't have some weird rat tail coming down the end of my Toby twist. So yeah, here we are. So I would leave this Toby twist on maybe like 10 minutes. You know, there's no point in having, once, if it's saturated, there's no point in holding your hair in a whole lot of water like that's that takes away the point of the turby twist is to take away the water so i have this sitting on here i'm probably not going to have it on for too long now because i gotta i want to film this video with you what i will do in the meantime is put on some moisturizer oh this is just my sphero big bad boy moisturizer because another tip that's not a hair tip I learned what just straight out of the shower is to pop your moisturizer on almost straight away like when your body is still wet so you know your pores are still open they're gonna take in as much moisture as possible we want that we want moisture we want that so moving on next up for my hair I'm going to run a brush through it I'm gonna take that brush I had before. A good tip if you wanna keep your hair really healthy is maybe on occasion, maybe every second wash, 
you could do it every wash. I don't do it. I do it like every second one. There's a couple of hairs in it. Is run some shampoo through it. Take away, you know how sometimes you used to get like build up. There's a little bit of build up on this one. And that cleans it and makes sure your hair's really healthy. So I'm just going to brush it so that we're not super tangled. And I'm taking it really gently, like I said, that will, so that we don't damage our hair further while it's really, um, what's the word? Susceptible to damage. Oh, nice and gently. Obviously you don't have to dry, like do it at all this way. My hair is like either naturally quite straight because it's so heavy and wavy. When I was like little, I looked like Annie. I had a redhead afro. I won't say it was just god awful. Oh, and then I had a fringe, like a front fringe until I was at least in uh, end of primary school and then when in high school I had the side fringe so I was like a redhead emo. I wasn't an emo, I just looked like one. I was like, why? Why? So next up, I've got a few products that I'm going to add into my hair. I've also got one that I'm going to trial. So I'm sticking with the, with the Goodwell and I'm sticking with that Rich Repair nourishment for my hair. This is a serum that I'm going to add in. I'm going to add this into the ends. So I take one or two pumps of this because I want to add in that really what does it say? Anti-breakage. So yeah, I'm going to add two pumps of that. This is going to be... That'll be enough. That was not two pumps, that was like five, but there was not much in there. So I'm going to run this through the base of my hair. Oh, just gently. Flip that over. Normally, I wouldn't dry my hair like straight away like it would be a little bit a little bit drier at the top before I do that but that's okay no issues here I'm gonna take then a little bit of my argan oil you can see that right there mm -hmm. this is one from the supermarket so the reason I use argan oil is I want to keep my hair really shiny really healthy and penetrate all those good things into my hair to keep it really soft and really strong so I'm going to take only like a pea amount because too much oil is just going to move and go everywhere and my hair is going to be oily for the whole week and it's just not going to be fun. We're trying to avoid oiliness and harness that like health. So that is like the perfect amount. And then what I do is I rub it between my hands, get it nice and warm and then run it between around and on my hair. What I also do is I rub it on my hands it's really good argan oil and your, your isn't it your hair and your nails are made of the same stuff so anything that's good for your hair is typically good for your nails so that's a really good point like you should be oiling your cuticles in your nails and we love that so we are oiled we are serumed up and that's done okay one thing that I wanted to trial with you, because I'm going to have a bit of fun with it, is this new, I think I got it as a free sample, uh, Brio, Brio Geo Farewell, Farewell Frizz. It's a Rosaco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Pretty fancy. And so I wanted to, what, spray throughout clean, damp hair, focusing on mid-length to ends of hair prior to air blow, air, air blow, air or blow drying. And do not rinse out. Contains argan and coconut oils, tames frizz, combats dryness. So I wanted to try this out. I'm all for trying the new things. So we're gonna see how. Oh, nice. That's nice. Okay. I'm not gonna do too many. I'm just gonna run my fingers, I guess. Smells nice, it smells like really fresh and clean. I feel like I have a lot of stuff in my hair. Oh, that's nice. And we got one more spray. <laughs> so, that was just for a bit of fun. Let's see if it does anything for my frizziness, because if I don't blow dry my hair, which I'm gonna be doing anyway, it, my hair just goes like a really weird, wavy, like, you know, when it just naturally goes, oh, I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. 
that's what my hair does. So what I'm going to be doing next before I blow dry my hair is something that's so important and I want everyone to do it is a heat protectant spray. I'm just using the Schwarzkopf heat styling spray. I really want to get a new one, but this is what we're dealing with today. And my hairdresser said to only really use like six to eight sprays over your whole head because again, if you spray a whole lot and using a whole lot of product on your hair, like your hair's just going to get really weird to like use and move about. So. I'm worried about that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, hmm. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. This big boy, and this is your friend. This is your happy, this is what you wanna use. I love this part. Um, I'm gonna use a different, use a different uh, brush. I'm gonna use a circled brush, and I'm gonna use a claw clip. Separating out my hair into three parts, because my hair's so, Thick and just loves to take on every little bit of water. Gets that, where is it gone? There, bad boy up. Now we're gonna dry our hair. What I do is I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take it underneath and like roll down with the hairdryer and have the hairdryer going over top and roll with it until it gets nice and dry. Wow, look how great that looks. Okay, let's go. my hair is pretty much bone dry and my camera is actually nearly out of charge so I'm going to try and quickly show you how I <laughs> curl my hair and I'm going to do that in three parts I'll probably only show you how I curl the base of my hair and then actually I'll just do it so I'm gonna spray my hair with like probably two more spritz of the heat protectant or three they laid because it's already got the heat protected in it, but because we've just blow dried our whole head. Should be lovely and ready. Look how fluffy, so fluffy. All right. Oh my gosh, if you could, this feels so soft today. Maybe it was the antifreeze stuff. Like this could be a gold mine. I'll keep going with it and tell you how I keep feeling with it. Obviously if it's only, if it's only my first trial, I don't want to get too excited. Uh, so I'm going to part my hair, first I'm going to do the bottom layer and then I would do a middle layer and a top layer which includes my fringe. Also if any updates that have like, you know, watched my birthday party vlog. Did not, I have not fallen in love with my fringe since like I loved it when my hairdresser did it. I haven't been able to do it. I have not been able to do it since. Okay, I'm going to take my hair straight now. I'm using a GHD, this is one of the latest one, this is actually in purple, what is it, a GHD gold, but in the like lavender colour. Turn the girl. She beeps, she's alive. So what I'm going to do when this heats up, I'm going to take tiny bits of my hair, so I've separated the two bits here, I've got this one here and I'm going to only take like a teeny tiny bit of it, like only that much. As you can see, like, and that, I don't even like that because, like, I like to take normally hair that's, like, normally, like, in a close ball next to each other. So this, this will have to do for now. I think I'm going to take that much. I'm going to almost straighten the top little bit. How are you heating up? How you going there, mate? Heat on up for me. Heat. Oh. Be better if I better if I press the on button, right? It just beeped, didn't I? Just forgot to press the on button. I'm gonna take the hair straightener. I'll explain it to you now, and then I'll explain it to you again when I'm actually doing it. I'm gonna take the hair straightener. I'm gonna put it underneath my hair, or on top of it. Is it on top? No. Just 
was ready, so we're just gonna do it. Like, <laughs> obviously, I can't remember. So, your hair straightener is here. You're gonna take it over top of the hair straightener and around. You're gonna open that hair straightener so it's up, and then you're gonna take the hair through the hair straightener like that. And I'm gonna curl and pull her through. Nice. And we got a curl. I'm gonna twist it quickly. And look at that. Oh, it's so bouncy. So bouncy. So I'm gonna do that throughout the whole bottom of my hair, the middle layer, and the top layer. It's gonna be really curly and really bouncy. Normally after each layer, I will spray it with a little bit of hairspray. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go back through with this like nice hairbrush and like blend it all together. So I'll do another one for you a bit closer. So obviously, here's my chunk of hair on this side. This I'm gonna separate out into this middle bit. I'm just gonna straighten the top up there. Taking this, <laughs> look at that, excuse you. You can go away, sir. Hair straightener underneath, opening it up, wrap around, pull through and close, turning and pull down. All the way through. Voila, twisty, twisty, twist. Voila, there is your curl. I'm going to do it on the last bit for you, straightening that top. I need to learn another way of doing it. So I want to, oh, there's all different techniques, there's different types of curls. Ooh, that little bit was a bit wet. We do not love that. That's not good. Twisty, twisty, twist. Voila! There's some curls for you. And then once I have the rest of my hair curled on top, all brushed in together and going cohesively, my, ear, my ear's just going to stop hearing for a minute. It's going to look great. So, now I'm going to do the other side. Typically, when I do the other side, it's almost like in the same, in the same direction because I have not trained myself to be able to do that. On, twist, let's see it from the front. Dragging through and, ooh. Wow. I do not recommend straining my hair when it's still wet and obviously I still have little, little wet bits this is not good but we're gonna battle through so much for protecting your hair Lauren that's okay it's only a tiny tiny bit don't come at me guys all right I just caught a bit of this fluffiness in the front Oh, she's steaming. Not fun, not fun. Da, 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 da. Lovely. Alright, I'm going to go do the rest of my hair. I'll show you at the end. Voila! Oh my lordy lord. Spread with a little bit of hairspray. And that is the fresh curls. Oh, this is a bit fluffy. That's a bit... That'll calm down. It'll calm down. But yeah, this is it all freshly curled. And a bit of spray. So I'm going to take my hairbrush. Ah, uh -huh. I'm just gonna run her through nice and softly. Like already, look at that difference. And just on the inside there as well. I, yeah, I've just been tucking my fringe underneath because she's a bit, I just don't know how to style it. It's not gone well, but that's, look at the difference. They just go together nicely. Just look at it in the mirror. And then we'll do the other side. Love that. And that's it. And my camera's about to go out. So, hopefully, thank you all for joining. I hope you liked this. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe. It's I love everyone joining on this channel. And please comment down below if there's anything you do different or anything you recommend because we love a good comment. And she's a big fluffy. So I'll see you all next week. Love you, bye.